What is up guys? Thanks for tuning in today. We are going to be taking a look at this uh, product that I picked up about six months ago. Going to give you my thoughts and my opinions and tell you if I would recommend it or not to you guys. So first things first, I love my dogs. Don't get me wrong. I know this may look bad, but there's other functions that I will go into detail throughout this video to show you that this is a humane way to train my dog. So with that being said, let's get started. Here we have a name brand, Pet Tech Dog Training Collar. Has uh, four different training modes, which is a beep, light, vibration, and shock. You can train up to two dogs on this one controller or remote, and it reaches or it fits up to dogs from 10 to 100 pounds. So if you know it ranges from you know from a little freaking Chihuahua if it's a little chunker, all the way up to I don't know. I got a pit bull terrier mix, so it fits on him pretty perfect. Um, so yeah, and then I got a little Pomeranian too. But um, the range on this distance controller, 1,200 feet, have verified that it, for me, roughly up to, I want to say 750, 750 feet. It's a little hit and miss. My backyard's pretty clear, but with that being said, it's not as advertised on a box up to 1,200 feet in range. So the contents of the box comes with your collar and your remote and on the back of the box it tells you the functions of your uh, pet controller. So with that being said, let's get this thing opened up. Well, I already opened up a long time ago, but I'll show you what the contents are in this. So contents, you got your remote here. Very nice, it's got a little flashlight. It's got multiple different modes. Um, I don't know if you can see but right there, there we go, blue light's gone. Um, yeah, first things first, I guess you guys noticed, it does have like a blue LCD uh, screen. So you can see it at night. Has, as you can see, like a picture of a speaker, which would be a beep function. Next, it's going to be hard to tell, but it will look like an icon on your phone when you set it to vibrate. That would be a vibrate function. Picture of a lightning bolt, that would be the function of shocking. This function of shocking I do not use at all. Um, with that being said, that's that and you also have the function of a light. But like I was saying back a second ago, I do not use the function of shock to train my dogs. What is included? Got your standard wall to USB connector and comes with this charging cord and these charges both your units for your handheld device and for the collar itself which would uh, plug back in here and it has a nice little rubber seal to protect from any water or anything these do have internal built-in batteries that's why these uh, or what that's why this item comes with the cord itself Another content provided based on what type of dog you got. These are the different types of prongs used to shock your dog. I don't use it, but so I just left it on mine because I'm usually trying to train my pit not to run off and do dumb things like try to eat a squirrel or anything of that sort. But after showing you all the items and the contents, I'll talk about the product. I like it. I like it a lot. The functionality of it is perfect. I do not need to use a shock function whatsoever. I know I keep bringing this up. Uh, I love animals. I would like to, you know, to be treated the same way if I was an animal, I guess, if that makes sense. But with that being said, the main function that I use on here is the beep because he gets scared of that. It breaks his attention and the vibration. It breaks his attention when he's focused on maybe a squirrel, other dogs or anything like that. With the little vibration, see if I can get this turned on real quick. That is powered up. 
If I go ahead and switch my modes to beep, hit it, the collar beeps. That will break my dog's attention. As you can tell, my pit just ran up. It breaks his attention to what he's focused on. Next mode, vibrate. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me hit it. That vibration right there will break my dog's attention. And last but not least, the shock function. I don't use it. As you can see, it's set to zero. Um, you can change the intensity by the side buttons up here. You got up and down, change the intensity. And that goes with the intensity of the... I don't think sound has uh, intensity. It has one basic sound. But vibration intensity. I want to turn it up where he can feel it vibrate on his neck and get his attention to... Uh, snap his concentration on whatever he may be focusing on or to grab his attention to tell him to sit um, lay down or whatever like that with that being said this is an overall great product would definitely recommend it to anybody that is out there on the market to try to train their pets I love that this um, product is uh, waterproof um, I have had it on him when he's out in the rain or whatever like that going to the bathroom and all that sorts of product battery lasts forever you can leave this and it has like a or you can leave this collar on and it has like an automatic power down mode and you know sometimes you don't want to take your collar you just want to leave it that automatic down power mode as soon as you hit the remote and it's within the distance it will pair back to the collar then it will be activated again so you don't have to sit there and try to reach to you know power on the product or power it off that being said, it is a great product. Um, another feature that I like, I haven't got a second collar to see if it's actually the functionality of it, but you can have two collars paired to it. So this would be collar one, technically. And I don't know if you can see right here. It's kind of hard, but right here in this corner, if I hit this, you see it will move. It went down, that, bla that black square move up, down, as you can tell. You can control two different collars, not simultaneously, but you control you can control two different collars on one remote, which makes it fantastic. So if you got two big dogs or two little dogs and you're you know you're taking them for a walk, you don't have to carry two remotes on you, you know, to for whatever reason. You can carry this one and it works perfect. Definitely overall great advice. Um the quality of the product. It is all plastic. Um, the remote feels like uh, if you dropped it from maybe 25 feet or something like that, it probably shattered into 100 pieces of some sort. Um, the thing that worries me the most, but I haven't had an issue, is the battery itself. Like how long will it last me? It'll last me for a few years, a couple years, or whatever like that. I have a tendency to keep them charged. I've had a head. I've had to charge the collar. I would say maybe once every shoot maybe two and a half weeks that's because I barely use it but the uh, it's you know it still holds a charge and everything so I want to say about two and a half weeks and that's with um you know moderate use some um, you know very low to moderate use so with that this is the overall product review um if you guys are wondering you can pick up this product on Amazon for about 30 bucks so if you're looking for a nice dog training collar this is definitely one that you guys should pick up and give it a shot for yourself definitely love it alright with that being said I would like to say thanks for tuning in if you found this video helpful in any way remember guys please like and subscribe catch you guys later bye